Hi everybody and welcome on board this 1989 Ocean Alexander 46 for a look around her interior in glorious virtual reality. So what does that mean for you? Well that means hopefully that you will get a feeling as to what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. All you need to do is click and drag or swipe and drag, drag your screen up, down, left or right and you can look around any way you like, any way you like. How cool is that? Some people are a bit sensitive to the camera movement, so when I'm going to move the camera, I will let you know so you can avert your eyes. And then once the camera's back down again, I will let you know again, and you can return to the tour with me. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So let's have a look, shall we? What a fantastic space. This is a 46-foot cabin cruiser, so there is going to be a lot of space. But in another video, we've seen the flying bridge, the cockpit, and the, uh, the after deck. In this video, we're going to look at the whole interior. So here we go. We are, there is so much space in here. As soon as you come down the companion way, which is really, really nice and easy to get down and through, etc. plenty of space, just like a normal door at home, really. You're into the saloon, and we've got oodles of head height, well over six feet there. Lovely U-shaped seating on the port side behind the saloon table with storage beneath as well. The table does drop down to make into an absolutely ginormous double bed or triple or quadruple, whatever you'd like to call it. So that's really great. Underneath us, you can see we've got this parquet flooring throughout the boat, which is very nice and classy feeling, I think. Uh, and underneath here, we've got both of the, the, the Caterpillar 375 horsepower engines. All we need to do is pull up these sections of the deck here, and we've got really great access to those and the generator and all the other bits and pieces down there, which is fantastic. On the starboard side, you can see we've got shelves, etc., cupboards, and we've got a nice chart table here, so you can sit here, look out of the window, do your chart work. We've got little drawers underneath here as well. Absolutely fantastic. Good storage inside, and the uh, the, the clever owners have uh, invested in a couple of blocks of wood there, so if you want to just make this into a regular sideboard with a television, etc., a bowl of fruit, that kind of thing, then you can do that, which I think is really, really useful. We like. Just moving forwards, you can see on the uh, starboard side, we've got the helm position, so this is where you would sit. The seat has gone, so you need a cushion or a new seat. We've got a nice drinks cabinet that pulls out here, and uh, somewhere for all your, uh, your gin and tonic to go, etc. Um, on the starboard side as well, we've got the, the helm steering, that Sea Star hydraulic steering, so it should feel nice. We can steer from down here and up on the flybridge. We've got the engine throttles and gearbox controls as well, autopilot. Navigation instruments, navigation instruments, tank contents above me, stereo, etc., VHF, and engine instrumentation. Pretty much everything there that you would need to run this boat safely and monitor her engineering systems. Really, really lovely. And of course, you're in a really raised position here as well. Great view from all of the windows, all the way around, apart from the stern. But generally speaking, I think you'd probably be steering from up there if you're coming alongside. But nevertheless, you have the choice. And uh, really, a very, very nice space. Feels really spacious, lots of room, and uh, not at all claustrophobic. Lovely, hey? Right then, let's pick you up again. Or for the first time, sorry. And I'll place you, let's take you down to the galley. Whoops, sorry. And you're on the worktop within the galley. Now, as you can see, we have a thwart ships arrangement here. We'll talk about the galley, the galley area itself first. You're sitting on a nice big worktop, plenty of room for chopping there. We've got cupboards behind, we've got a fiddle shelf above, and we've got loads of drawers and, and a cupboard below. So plenty of room for doing what you need to do in here and preparing those meals. Over on the port side, you can see we've got a, an opening window. We've got a triple sink unit, cupboards underneath. We've got a, a cool box uh, without refrigeration because that's here. Uh, and we've got, a, I think that's a regular domestic oven uh, with a... With a, a an oven in it and uh, four burners on top and you can see we've got a microwave perched up there probably room for a bigger one if you want one we have a cupboard here we've got a freezer unit here and a fridge unit here so pretty much everything that you would need at home in the boat itself and uh, as we look down lower that means that the deck head is even higher so we've uh, got that real feeling of space down here and it's really nice and easy to pass food and drink up to the table and to bring it back down again even easier to pass it over to the starboard side here where we've got the lower saloon so we've got seating uh, forward and aft uh, i think this uh, drops down into a double as well so that's probably another double bed 
and uh, it just gives you that flexibility. So if you want a, perhaps a more cosy dinner, a more intimate dinner, or there's just less people, or if you've got too many people for up there, you've got a little diner down here, which is fantastic. The companion way coming down here, really, really nice and easy to get down, just uh, two or three steps. That hinges up and there's a hatch there which gives you access to the generator, so uh, really good for monitoring. Uh, on this boat, we've got lots of, uh, lots of apertures where we can lift up to allow access to the bilge all over the place, which I really like to see. Sometimes some boats suffer from not being able to monitor those all-important bilges, but not this boat. Right then, let's pick you up again. And I'll take you to the forward cabin, place you there on the forward bed. So, uh, what a nice compartment, and a large compartment as well. If we close this door here, then it means that we've got our own apartment with access to the head here. We've got Jack and Jill access, so we can get into the head here without anybody in there seeing us. And also people in there can get to the head in there without disturbing us in our apartment here. As you can see, we've got a nice, uh, very tall wardrobe here, shoe cupboard underneath. We've got two windows. We've got the flare of the bow, so we're feeling a little bit nautical in this compartment, which is lovely, because we should do, because we're on a boat. We have a hatch there for light and ventilation, and we've got an insect screen on there as well, and a hatch in the forward bulkhead there to allow access to the anchor chain, etc., etc., should we get any uh, wraps. The bed itself is nice and wide, nice and long. I think a couple would be comfortable in there for extended periods. I think if you're super tall, you probably wouldn't be able to sit and read here. You'd be lying and reading because this room here is limited, but uh, not so to make you feel claustrophobic at all. Um, but uh, it is nice and high and we've got uh, storage underneath, we've got drawers here and obviously we've got this nice sofa here on the starboard side here to sit and get changed or to pull your uh, Fowleys on and off etc etc. All in all, a nice compartment. So let's pick you up and we'll manoeuvre you. I'll take you into the forward head, if I just uh, unclick this door. We'll take you through to the forward head via the saloon, so uh, this is the other entrance to it. There we go. And a uh, nice big compartment in here, as you can see, um, nice and bright. We've only got one window here, but it's an opener, as are many on this boat, and uh, we've got lots of room here, so it's not cramped and small. It's a big boat, it's going to have room. You're sitting on the vanity unit, so you've got the sink in set, we've got a cupboard underneath, we've got uh, an electric toilet, both toilets on this boat are electric, and we have a nice large showering area here, which disappears down the hole in the floor there. So uh, very good, nice, bright and airy. Plenty of room, unlike many boats where you're a little bit uh, cramped in, aren't we? There we go. Okay, let's pick you up again and close the door to that apartment, and we'll race up the companionway through the saloon and take you down to the aft cabin which is probably the pièce de résistance of this boat. There we go. I'll place you just there and I hope you don't fall over. Right, you're in the middle of this lovely, lovely aft cabin. You're in the middle of the bed. I think it's a normal size double but it's nice, it's plenty wide, nice and long in the middle of the compartment so the, the occupants of the bed or the the intended occupants of the bed can climb in from either side or the bottom if you like and there's storage underneath as well which is absolutely lovely. Loads of headroom so uh, it's lower than the, um, obviously we've come down a, a very nice easy companion way into this compartment but we have uh, loads of headroom in here. I'm five foot nine, well over six feet again. We've got windows all the way around, so a lovely view and lots of light coming in too. We have a, an escape hatch in the port aft corner there, and as you can see, we've got lots of wood. Now, the wood on this boat does feel like quality. It's all really nice and solid, and as you can see in this compartment, we have a lot of it. So if you're a, if you're a wooden lover, uh, if you like that vintage wooden feel, then you are onto a winner with this boat. All the way along the starboard side, you can see we've got drawers, we've got uh, cupboards as well, we've got the parquet carrying on throughout, which is lovely. Lovely. Bilge access is down here, uh, nice opening big cupboards there, drawers underneath, big shelf with a fiddle on it as well. It's feeling like a luxury boat down here, I think it's absolutely lovely. If I just close the door to the compartment, you see there we are, we're now in our own apartment, separated from the rest of the boat. We've got our bedroom, we've got the vanity unit, we've got the head, we've got uh, a nice wardrobe here, let me unclip it, there we go. Light comes on when you open the door, we've got uh, stories for shoes, shelves, etc. And a nice hanging locker there, which is absolutely lovely. Don't see that very often. And uh, over on the starboard side here, as I mentioned, we've got the, the nice uh, vanity unit. Goes around the corner, looks tailor-made. We've got a, a seat that swivels out there to save space. When you don't need it, you can put it away. Draws inset into it, etc. And a nice uh, mirror there with, uh, within the cupboard unit. So, very, very nice 
place, I think. So, let's talk a little bit about the after head. Let's pick you up and uh, I'll just drop you here. So you're in the heads compartment there, the after head, sorry. And again, we have, this is the second of two electric toilets. Lots of room in here, good headroom. We've got the window there. Um, the sink's inset into the unit that you're sitting on. We have cupboards underneath. Generally speaking, a nice sized area. We've got parquet flooring in here. And uh, to the aft of the compartment, we've got this uh, tailor-made, well, it's, it's a built-in shower unit. So we've got the shower head up here. This door closes, and that means you can shower away to your heart's content without getting the rest of the compartment drenched. So really good and uh, accessible only, the whole compartment accessible only via the after saloon. Sorry, the after cabin. Right then, let's pick you up for the final time. Close the door here and open the door to the saloon and I'll uh, just sum up. I'll place you back in the middle of the compartment. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers taking you for an interior tour in virtual reality of this 1989 Ocean Alexander 46. Hope you've enjoyed the tour. I hope you've got a feeling as to just how spacious and homely and kind of luxurious this boat feels. We've got all this space in here. We've got the cockpit outside. We've got the aft deck outside. We've got the flying bridge above us. And that way we've got the forward cabin, the galley, the lower saloon and the other head. So uh, really, really special. Hope you've enjoyed the tour and uh, we hope to see you again for future tours on lots of different boats. Thanks for watching. Take care.